Good evening, everybody. Come on in. Let's have some prayer. Come on in, everybody. Move this a little closer to me. All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome. chapter 14, starting at verse number 12. Acts chapter 14, starting at verse number 12. We'll be reading down to verse number 17. Acts chapter 14, starting at verse number 12, down to 17. While you're finding it, let us look to the Lord as we begin to go in in prayer. Our Father and our God, We come to lift your name on high. We come to give you all the praises. Because the songwriter said you came from heaven to earth to show us the way. 
From the earth to the cross, our debt you paid. From the cross to the grave and from the grave to the sky. Lord, we lift your name on high. We ask, O oh God, for forgiveness of our sins that we've done against your will. We pray now that you lead us and guide us and direct us in the way that you would have us to go. Open your scriptures up to us, O oh God, that they may be seared in our hearts like an hot iron. So that, Lord, every time we run to do those things that are against your will, we are stopped by your word. For it is your word that saved us. It is your word that is keeping us. And it is your word that will keep us forevermore. For you promised us, O oh God, those that believe on you will have everlasting life. And I pray right now for each and every saint, each and every born again believer, I lift them up to you right now for I know and we know that it is you who has kept us this far from the rocking of our cradle up into this very moment, even in the times what well, we didn't want to be saved, you watched over us. The times we didn't want to be kept, you kept us. The times we didn't want to do right, you held us in the hollow of your hand. And we thank you now, Master, for all that you've done for each and every one of us. Help us to read with understanding. For you said in all our getting, it's good that we get understanding. This is your servant's prayer, and I pray it in Jesus' name. Let every heart say, Amen. John, I'm sorry, Acts 14. John is our study. Acts 14, starting at verse number 12 down to 17. Let us hear the word of our living God. And they called Barnabas, Jupiter, and Paul, Mercurius, because he was the chief speaker. Then the priest of Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands unto the gates and would have done sacrifice with the people. Which when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes and ran, among, and ran in among the people, crying out and saying, Sirs, why do ye these things? We also are men of like passion with you and preach unto you that ye should turn from these vanities unto the living God, which made heaven and earth and sea and all things that are therein, who in times past suffered all nations to walk in their own ways. Nevertheless, he left not himself without, a, without witness, in that he did good and gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. Let us pray. Thank you, O God, for not allowing Paul and Barnabas to be too high-minded. For you said in your word that we ought not think of ourselves more highly than we ought to think. You said in your word to esteem others better than ourselves. You told us in your word that we ought to love you with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And to love our neighbors as ourselves. You said, O oh God, that you would never leave us or forsake us. You said that if you go, you would come again and receive us unto you. Lord, and we're praying right now in the name of Jesus. And we're looking for that blessed hope and that glorious appearing, O oh God, when you will crack the sky, calling us home to be again with you. But Lord, while we're here, help us to feel your love. While we're here, 
Help us to love one another while we're here. Help us, oh God, to seek out those that are lost. Share your gospel with the love of your Holy Spirit that resides on the inside of us. Bless us in such a way, oh God, that somebody might hear your voice through us. Thank you, oh God, for allowing us time and space peace of mind. We bless you, O oh God. We give you all the glory from the depths of our hearts. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Let every heart say, Amen. Acts 14. We'll be reading 18 down to 28. Acts 14, verse 18 to 28. Let us hear the word of the living God. And with these sayings, scarce restrained they the people that they had not done sacrifice unto them. And there came thither certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium, who persuaded the people and having stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, supposing he had been dead. Howbeit, as the disciples stood around about him, he rose up and came into the city, and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derbe. And when they had preached the gospel to that city and had taught many, they returned again to Lystra and to Iconium and Antioch, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that when that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. And when they had ordained them elders in every church and had prayed with fasting and commanded them to the Lord and commended them to the Lord on whom they believed, and after they had passed through Sidia, they came to Pamphylia, and when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down into Attilia and then sailed to Antioch from whence they had been recommended to the grace of God for the work which they fulfilled. And when they were come and had gathered the church together, they rehearsed all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith unto the Gentiles. And there they abode a long time with the disciples. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Thank you, O oh God, for traveling witnesses who went from town to town, neighborhood to neighborhood, city to city, telling them about your good gospel, about how you sent your son to die on Calvary for us, was buried and rose again on the third day for the justification of all of our sins. Lord, we say hallelujah for the examples you showed us in your Bible. Now we ask you, O oh God, to give us that same strength. Give us the power and the speech to know what to say with the same compassion that you had toward us. Help us to have it toward somebody else. Somebody needs you, Lord. Come by here. Lord, we know your grace is amazing because you decided to look beyond all of our faults and see our needs. And out of all of the millions in the world, you still saved us. And for that, oh God, we say thank you. For that, O oh God, we say hallelujah. For, for that, O oh God, we give your name all of the glory. There's somebody under the sound of my voice today, O oh God, that's hurting. Somebody who's hurting physically and somebody who's hurting in their heart. O oh God, we know that you are able to heal us to men broken hearts. For you said you are the lifter 
of our heads. You said, oh God, that you would give us strength. You said that we would run and not get weary. We would walk and not faint. Father, I thank you now in advance for the breakthroughs that you're going to perform in our lives. For the mercies that are new every morning. Lord, I thank you now for the blessings don't get stale or old, but they are fresh. Thank you, O oh God. For you are our miraculous redeemer. And we know if you saved us from hell, you can save us from anything in this earth. We know that because you got up from the grave, we are not defeated. For you said in your word, there is now therefore no condemnation to us who believe. Walk after the spirit and not after the flesh. Lord, you said we are more than conquerors through you who loved us. Now, O oh God, I lift Holy Grove to you. You have given me a charge that is very difficult sometimes. But I pray for your strength and I pray for your power that I may lead your people in the way that you would have for them to go. Not to lord over them, but to Lead them to know you better. I pray, O oh God, right now for each and every endeavor, endeavor we plan for your church, that it be done according to your will. I pray right now that those that stand silently in opposition against your program, you weed them out. For you said, let the weed and the tarry grow together and you would divide in your time. Thank you, O oh God, for my friends. Thank you, O oh God, for our enemies, for they keep us on our knees. We bless thee, O oh God, and we give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. It's in Jesus' name. Let every heart say, Amen. Amen. Acts chapter 15. We'll read 1 down to verse number 11, Acts chapter 15, 1 through 11. Let us hear the word of our living God. And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small decision and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about this question. And being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Phoenice and Samaria, declaring the conversion of the Gentiles, and they caused great joy unto all the brethren. And when they were come to Jerusalem, they were received of the church and of the apostles and elders, and they declared all things that God had done with them. But there arose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees, which believed, saying that it was needful to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. And the apostles and elders came together for to consider of this matter. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, ye know how that good, how that a good while ago God made choice among us that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Now, therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved, even as they. Thank you, O God, for this time that we have been able to spend with you in your word. 
I pray now, O oh God, that you fill our hearts and our minds with your love and your joy and your peace. We bless your name today in Jesus' name. Let every heart say, amen. We'll see you in class. <laughs>